Hello and good morning, everyone. Good evening, everyone. Great evening, Alex, everybody, students. How are you tonight? Welcome back. Thank you, teacher. Is everybody ready? Yes. Great. In that case, let's go ahead and get started. Hagamos un poquito de practice. Let me see. Let me open my platform. Let me open my platform right here. So, in the last class, we studied the present continuous, right? Actions that are happening in the moment. Acciones que están pasando justo en el momento. Um, do you remember? Um, tell me, please. What are you doing? What are you doing right now? What are you doing right now? Uh-huh. What are you doing in this moment? For example, me, I am teaching English. And you, what are you doing? I am, I am studying English. I am? Study, study, study. Studying. Studying English. Studying English. Excellent. King Mas? Good evening. Good evening. What are you doing? I am listening to the class right now. Excellent. I am listening to the class right yeah. now. Watching. I am watching the class watching. online. Yes. What else? ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? ¿Y los demás? I am drinking coffee right now. Oh, really? Oh, that's <laughs> nice. That's really nice. You're drinking coffee right now. That's a good start. That's a good way to have a class. A ver, me ayuden con sus audios. Los que tienen el micrófono activado y no están participando, necesito lo desactiven, por favor. Ok. Eh, practiquemos con el verbo vestir, usar, ropa, accesorios. ¿Cuál era ese verbo? Wearing. Wearing. Era el Wearing. verbo wear, que era vestir, y así lo ubico con Wearing. ING. Wearing. Wearing, usando. What are you doing? ¿Qué estás haciendo? What are you wearing? ¿Qué estás? Vistiendo, usando. Uh -huh. okay. En tercera persona, ya no sería what are, sería what is. Okay. Quiero que me digan. A family member, un miembro de su familia. What are you doing? And what is your family member doing? Fíjense, se las pongo en el chat. What, what are you doing? Doing in what is a family member doing? For example, ustedes me dijeron, I am studying English. I am studying English. I am listening to my class. I am writing the class. Yes? Um, I am speaking, I am speaking in English right now. And my father is sleeping. Or my sister is eating dinner. Or my brother is chatting, 
chatting on WhatsApp. <laughs> so tell me, what are you doing and what is your family member doing? Volunteers? Be my guest, Carlos. I am listening to my class and my daughter, Dean. And my daughter? My daughter is dining. Is dining. Having, having, having dinner. Having dinner. Having dinner. Correct. Having dinner. And my daughter is having, having dinner. dinner. Outstanding job, Alex. ¿Quién más dijo yo? ¿Quién más dijo yo? A ver, participation. I am grading English class. Ajá. Uh -huh. I am writing English writing. class. Writing. I am writing. Writing. My English writing. class. And? Writing. And? My, my mother is sleeping. Outstanding job, Miss Graciela. ¿Quién más dijo yo? ¿Quién más dijo yo? Solo Alex y Graciela me participan. ¿Quién más dijo yo? A ver. Continue, continue. Stella. Be my guest, Stella. I am listening to the class. My brother is watching your cell phone. Hmm. Correct. Your brother is watching. Digamos mejor checking. Checking. My brother is checking his cell phone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Watch lo vamos a usar para television. Okay, watch a movie. Okay, thank you, Bre uh, Stella. Stella, let's go with Brenda Carolina. I am listening my class. Yes. And my, bro and my brother watching TV. Yeah. My brother, te faltó algo ahí. De acuerdo a la estructura es subject, verb to be, ing verb. My brother? My, my, my brother is watching TV. Correct. And my brother is watching TV. I TV. am listening to the class right now. And my brother is watching TV. Thank you so much, Ms. Brenda. Let's go with Samuel. Go ahead, Samuel. Okay. Uh, I am watching cell phone. I am watching. I am checking. I am checking. I am checking my phone. Yes, yes. Uh, my mother watch TV. And my mother is what is watching. Uh, watching. Cuando le ponías el ing, ya no es ver, sino viendo. Mm -hmm. In this moment, my mother is watching television. Okay. All right, nicely done, nicely done. Vámonos a la asistencia, chicos. Gracias por el warm up. Gracias por el calentamiento, ¿verdad? Siempre hacemos un, a little warm up before we start the class. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to check your attendance. One second. There it comes, there it comes, there, oh, there it comes. Bear with me a moment, bear with me. Ahí está. All right. José López, no, ese es Alejandro José López Díaz. Present. Ana Graciela Ramos García. Present, teacher. Andrea Michelle Marroquín Mejía. Present, teacher. All right, Bessie Elizabeth Mendoza de Soriano. Um, Brenda Carolina Mejía Miranda. Present teacher. 
Brenda Elizabeth Beltrán Pérez. Present. Carlos Alexander Reyes Guevara. Here I am. Excelente. César Waldi Ramírez Pérez. Present. Present. Very good. Daniel Rubén Barrera Barraza. Present. Ok. Delmi Yesenia Casco de Cienfuegos. Eric Ronaldo Rosales Pérez. Estela Guadalupe Maravilla Prieto. Present. Thank you so much. Fernando Josué Guzmán Escobar. Adelante. Thank you. Gardenia Lisset Portillo Trigueros. Present teacher. Glenda Lisset Ortiz de la O. Hilda Gris, no, Hilda Gisela Shaste Torres. Present. Thank you. Isamare Vitres Valencia Flores, Jennifer Saray Vigil Umansor. Present teacher. Jenny Arely Rodriguez Alfaro. Georgina Elizabeth Lemos Perez. Here I am, teacher. Thank you. Jorge Eric Ramirez Ramos. Here I am, teacher. Thank you. Jose David Leiva Rivas. Here I am, teacher. Jose David Monge Leiva. Present teacher. Y ustedes son primos, no vea. Se parecen, se parecen los names ahí. A ver, José Miguel Soriano Rivera. José Samuel Ramos Castaneda. Present teacher. All right, José. Jo Jocelyn Stephanie Peña Ayala. Jocelyn Stephanie Bautista Present Zúñiga. Teacher. Here I am. Ok, las dos están. Ok, Juan Antonio González Vides. Juan Carlos López Ayala. Y Carla Patricia Cruz Rosales. Excellent, Carlita. I got it right here. Thank you so much. Alrighty, guys. Let's continue with our um, learning process. Let me teacher. share my screen right now. Dígame. Adelante. Eh, me mencionó, pero no puedo activar mi micrófono. Who's that? What's your name? Eric Ronaldo Rosales. See you. Vaya, Ronaldo, no problem. No puedo Thank creer you. que te tenga aquí en mi clase a Ronaldo. My God. <ríe> a ver, ¿qué estaba compartiendo? Otra cosa me vine que compartir. I'm sorry. Aquí está, aquí está. Ok. One more time, one more time. One more time. We're gonna celebrate one more time. Here we go. Let me see. Ay, se me, se me atrasa esto, chicos. What's happening? The platform is nervous. Sí, atrasó. Ya pasamos todo esto. Present continuous statements. Right? Present continuous. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me check. <laughs> okay, yes. Talk about different cities and in international time zones. We'll practice that conversation additionally. Let's check it out. Um, what time is it there? Repeat, what time is it there? 
There. Este there lo uso porque es allá, ¿verdad? Quizás estoy hablando what con mi hermano en, en otro país. O, what time is it there? ¿Qué, ¿Qué hora es? Allá. Right? So let's watch this video out. Pay attention. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to talk about different cities and international time zones. Additionally, you will practice a conversation between two people in different time zones. Let's get started by listening to a short audio program to practice different cities around the world. Let's listen and repeat. Vancouver, Los Angeles, Mexico City, Lima, Montreal, New York City, San Juan, Brasilia, Sao Paulo, London, Casablanca, Cape Town, Warsaw, Moscow, Riyadh, Seoul, Bangkok, Tokyo, Sydney. Now let's listen to a conversation which illustrates the importance of understanding different time zones. Let's listen and repeat. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? Oh, right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. And it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. Four a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. Now it's your time to practice the conversation that we just heard. And also, I would like for you to answer the following questions in our discussion forums. By looking at the map, which cities are in the same time zone? Which cities are in your time zone? Is an international time practice a conversation between started by listening to a short Let's audio listen program and repeat. to practice different cities around the world. Let's listen and repeat. Vancouver. Vancouver. Repeat Vancouver. 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 All right. Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Mexico City. Lima. Mexico City. Mexico City. Mexico City. Lima. Lima. Mm -hmm. Mexico City and Lima. Mexico City and Lima. Montreal. 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 New York City. New York, New York, City. New York City. City. New York City. New York City. San Juan. New York City. San Juan. San Juan. Brasilia. Yeah. Brasilia. Brasilia. Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo. London. Casa. London. 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 Blanca. Casablanca. 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 Cape Town. Cape Town. Cape Town. Cape Town. Warsaw. 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 Moscow. 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 Riyadh. Riyadh. 
Soul. 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 Bangkok. 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 Tokyo. 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 Now, Sydney. Let's listen to a conversation which illustrates the importance of understanding different time zones. Let's listen and repeat. Hello. Repeat. Hello. 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 Hi, Debbie. This is John. Hi, Debbie. Hi, John. Hi, Debbie. This is John. Hi, Debbie. This is John. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. I'm calling from Australia. Present continuous. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? 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 I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? I'm at a conference. Remember? 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 I am confident in Sydney. Oh, right. Oh, right. right. What time is it there? 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 It's 10 p.m. It's 10 p.m. It's 10 p.m. 10 p.m. 10 p.m. 10 p.m. 10 p.m. 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles. Right? And it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles. In four right? 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles. Right. 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 Okay. And it's 4 o'clock. There in Los Angeles, right? And the four o'clock in Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. Yes, yes, yes. four o'clock in, in the morning. Four o'clock in the morning. Four a.m. Four a.m. 4 a.m. 4 a.m. Oh, I'm really sorry. Oh, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm really, I'm really so sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. I'm away now. That's okay. I'm away. Questions on the conversation, guys? Vocabulary, pronunciation. If you have no questions, let's practice, okay? Teacher Caleb is going to be John. Debbie are the students. Ready? Ready. Okay, so Ready. I'm calling you. I'm calling you. Hello. 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 Hi, Debbie. Hello. This is John. I am calling from Australia. 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 I'm at a conference in Sydney. Remember? Oh, All right. right. All right. All right. What time is there? It's 10 p.m. and it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes. yes. Four, Four, in the morning. Four a.m. 
I'm really sorry. I'm awake. I'm awake. Ya estoy despierta. I'm awake. I'm awake. Let's switch. Teacher Caleb called you. I mean, I get, I get the call. Hello. Australia. I am Oh, right. What time is it there? It is the Four, yes, four o'clock in the morning. That's okay. I am awake now. I am. I am. I'm awake. awake. I am awake. Excellent. Mm. I am awake. Ya estoy I despierta. Am awake. Dice, ya estoy despierto. I am awake. Despierto. Eh, eh, awake. Uh -huh. Awake. Mm -hmm. That's mm. right. Let's continue, guys. Let's go to the next objective. Let me share my screen one more time. Here we go. I am awake. I am oh. awake now. Vamos a ver la hora. What time is it? Repeat. What time is it? What, what time? time is it? What time, time is it? What time is it? What time is it? What time is it? How do you say in English que hora es allá? What time is it there? What time, what time is it? Time is it there. 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 So le ponemos there. There. What time what is it? Time there. Is there. Let's watch there. this video one more time. In this class, you learn to ask and answer questions using time expressions. Let's get started by looking at some clocks which are expressing the time. Let's listen and repeat. It's one o'clock. It's one o five. It's five after one. It's one fifteen. It's a quarter after one. It's one thirty. It's one forty. It's twenty to two. It's one forty-five. It's a quarter to two. Now, what we want to do is make our own examples by changing the time on those clocks. I'm going to change the time for each and express a different time. Let's do it. Instead of one o'clock, we will say two. Notice that the only thing that we will change is the number for now. It's two o'clock. For our uh, next example, it's 2.05. After that, it's 2.15. Then it's 2.30 or it's half past two. Next, it's 2.40 or it's 20 to three. Our last example, it's a quarter to three or it's 2.45. I would like for you to express the time now. I will give you the numbers and you should write the time. Now I would like to go over some time expressions. Let's listen and repeat. In the morning, a.m. Noon, p.m. In the afternoon, p.m. In the evening, p.m. At night, p.m. Midnight, a.m. Let's uh, practice this time expressions now. Let's listen and repeat. It's 7 o'clock in the morning. It's 7 a.m. It's 12 o'clock. It's 12 p.m. It's noon. It's 4 o'clock in the afternoon. It's 4 p.m. It's 7 o'clock in the evening. It's 7 p.m. It's 10 o'clock at night. It's 10 p.m. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 12 a.m. It's midnight. In this class, we've covered how to express the time in different ways. 
it's important that you learn all those different ways to express the time. What I would like for you to do now is to practice expressing the time in different ways. I'll write the expressions and you should work on expressing the time in a different way. For example, it's 9 o'clock in the evening. Another way to express this is by saying it's 9 p.m. Now I would like for you to change these expressions in a different way. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 3 in the afternoon. It's 3 a.m. It's 6 p.m. It's 4 p.m. It's 12 p.m. All right, do we have questions? I would like for you to questions now. Let's... Acuérdense que con las partes del día podemos decir la parte del día o podemos decir a.m. de a.m. o p.m. de p.m., ¿verdad? So, teacher, uh -huh. go ahead. Hay, hay varias formas de decir PM y AM, eh, dependiendo del el día, o sea, el, el, el par, momento eh. del día. Uh -huh. Digamos, la tarde, la noche, es PM siempre, pero en una se dice evening y en otra se dice noon. Correcto. Hay diferentes formas de decirlo. Vamos aquí, por ejemplo, en la mañana, in the morning, ¿verdad? Podemos decir in the morning o podemos decir a.m. Right? Mm. Ok, en la mediodía, bueno, simplemente se dice 12 p.m., 12 p.m. o podemos decir noon, it's noon. Oh. En la tarde, in the afternoon, right? O damos la hora p.m., it's 4 p.m., it's 3 p.m., it's 1 p.m. Okay. O decimos in the afternoon. 4 p.m. Okay. Now, acá, in the evening, en la tarde noche, ¿verdad? En la noche. Okay. Podemos decir, in the evening, son las 7 de la noche. It's 7 in the evening, o podemos decir, it's 7 p.m. Okay. The same right here. It's 10 o'clock at night, ya es de noche, at night. Or it's 10 p.m. Usamos at night o usamos p.m. At night. Y bueno, lo de las 12 de la madrugada. It's 12 o'clock at night. Una forma, it's 12 a.m. Las 12 a.m. Or it's midnight. Ok. Um, Yeah. Si yo les hago preguntas usando what time, what time, y yo les hago el do, el auxiliar do para usted, ¿verdad? Do you, les doy eh, una actividad. Ustedes deberían contestarme usando esa actividad, usando el subject, que sería I, usando la actividad y usando, uh, pues, la hora, ¿verdad? O la parte del día. Eh, es importante decir que antes de dar una hora, usamos la preposición at. Okay. Very well. So, what time yeah, do you, do you get up? Esta es mi pregunta. What time do you get up? What time do you get up? ¿A qué horas tú te? ¿Quién sabe get up? Levantarse. Levantarse. Levantas. Entonces tú me vas a decir, I get up at, y me das la hora. ¿Ya? I get up at, y das la hora. What time do you have breakfast? A ver, guys, what time do you have breakfast? Breakfast. At 7 a.m. A.m., a.m. Vaya, sí, no, porque sí me respondiste, pero no me diste la estructura. Quiero que me digas yo, ¿verdad? Usando el sujeto, I have I breakfast. Am. No, I am, no. El verbo es have. Have. I have breakfast at, y damos la hora, 
I have breakfast at 7 a.m. Puedo decir a.m. I, I have I have breakfast. I have breakfast. Se, se te está cortando un poquito. I have breakfast in the morning. Pero tenés que dar la hora. I have breakfast at 7 in the morning. Sí, sí, sí. Sí. I have breakfast at 8 in the morning. Con la preposición at, antes de dar la hora. At 8 in the morning, at 9 in the morning, etc. ¿Ok? What time do you drink coffee? ¿A qué hora bebes café? What time do you? Entonces, básicamente, ahí damos la hora. A ver, pregunta Jennifer. Go ahead. Jennifer. Jenny? Yes, Jenny? I get, get or up and... Nine, I, I, I am. A.M. A.M. Vaya, vean, ahí tenemos, la primera dice, it's nine o'clock in the evening. La otra forma es, it's nine p.m. So le cambio, in the evening, por p.m. Traten de ponerlo en otra forma, los otros que están acá. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. Aquí está. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. Puedo decir it's 8 o'clock. A.M. A.M. Correcto. Ok, pásenme esos a la otra forma que ya hemos, pues, aprendido. Les voy a dar que... What time is it? Cinco minutos. Five minutes. Five minutes, guys. Escríbanlos en su cuaderno con la otra forma, ¿ok? Go ahead. Five minutes, pasándolos a la otra forma. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Son siete en total. Seven total. Write them on your notebook. Escríbanlos ahí en su cuaderno y ya comparamos.
Already, you guys finish. You guys finish. A ver, it's eight o'clock in the morning, or 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 it is it's eight o'clock a.m. It's eight o'clock a.m. It's eight o'clock a.m. It's eight o'clock a.m. Next one. It's twelve o'clock at night. It's twelve o'clock p.m. Twelve o'clock p.m. Only Hmm. It's twelve o'clock at night. It's 12 p.m. Okay. It's 12 at night. Podrían decir, it's 12 a.m. O pueden decir, it's midnight. Midnight. Acuérdense, las 12 p.m. y las 12, I mean, las 12 a.m., right? Son las 12 de la madrugada, right? Medianoche, es medianoche, right? At, at night. So, pay attention on that. The next one is... It's three in the afternoon. It is three p.m. Thank you. It is it three p.m. Three p.m. Thank you so much. Vamos acá. It's three a.m. ¿Cómo les queda? It's three in the morning. Correct. It's three in the morning. Very well. Okay. Vamos a decir o'clock. Sí, eh, puedes decir o'clock porque está en punto, es opcional. En ese caso es opcional. Sí, es que había puesto solo in the morning, pero También. el ejemplo y decía o'clock. Ambas son correctas. It's all right. A ver acá, it's 3 a.m. or it is 6 o'clock in the afternoon. It is... Espérate, espérate. Aquí vamos a ver. It's 3 a.m. 3 a.m. It is, it is three o'clock in the morning. It's three a.m. in the morning. Mm, no se pueden decir los dos. O decís a.m. o decís in the morning. En este caso, la otra forma sería it's three in the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Ah, okay. It's six in the afternoon. It is six o'clock in the morning, in the afternoon. Correcto. Siguiente. It's six p.m. It's six in the afternoon. Afternoon? No, in the evening. In the evening. It's... Six o'clock in the evening. Tarde noche. Okay. Tarde noche, ajá, tarde noche. A ver, la otra. It's 4 p.m. It's 4 p.m. Yeah. I see it's 4 yeah. in the afternoon. 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Ah, la tarde, tarde, ¿verdad? Y la última. It's 12 p.m. It's 12 in the midnight. Ah. It's noon. It's noon. 12 o'clock at night. Espérate, es p.m. es este, ve. Es 12 p.m. Puedes decir, it's noon. It's noon. It's noon. It's noon. It's 12, it's noon. Medianoche. No, no, no. Noon es, es uh, mediodía porque es PM. Cuando es AM, AM, that's midnight. Ok. Mm -hmm. All right. Any question? Any question? A ver, tenemos un chat acá. No puedo contestar. Está lloviendo. Sí, aquí ya comenzó a llover también. Pero sí, aún creo que aún me escuchan bien. So, vamos a terminar con la última parte acá. Let's watch something else. Let's watch something else. Let me scroll up. And this is it. Vamos a hacer la introducción a WH questions. 
rising and falling intonation. Unas preguntas en inglés llevan un rising intonation, que la entonación va hacia arriba, por hacer la pregunta, right? Y hay otras que la entonación va hacia abajo. La entonación, intonation, is very important. Please check this video out. Hi, everyone. In this class, you learn about rising and falling intonation in yes or no questions and WH questions. Let's get started by understanding intonation. Pitch is raising and lowering the tone of voice yeah. while speaking. The use of pitch is yeah. called intonation. Understanding English intonation will increase not only your spoken English competency, but your English comprehension as well. Intonation is used to convey meaning. For example, you have the same set of words in two separate sentences, but in one the mm. meaning may be different than in the other due to intonation. In this class, we'll focus on yes or no questions and WH questions and how intonation gives meaning. Let's listen and practice. Notice the intonation of yes or no and WH questions. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? Well, there are many exceptions and rules to follow. In general, we can follow these two simple rules. For yes and no questions, there will be a rising intonation. For example, is she getting up? Are they sleeping? Yeah. For WH questions, there will be a falling intonation. For example, what's she doing? What are they doing? This topic, along with all the other pronunciation topics, require careful listening and to practice. I would like for you to listen carefully to your favorite English TV program and notice the rising and falling intonation of yes or no questions and WH questions. Follow. In Okay, so the basic rule is this. For just no questions, just no questions, it's going to be falling intonation, see? Falling intonation. For example, is she getting up? Repeat, is she getting up? Is she getting up? Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? Are they sleeping? And for WH questions, it's going to be falling intonation. For example, Gosh. what's she doing? What's she doing? What's she doing? What's she doing? And what are they doing? What are they doing? What are they doing? What are they doing? So, please practice this type of pronunciation, guys. When you see a yes, no question, remember, rising intonation. And when you see um, WH word questions, it's falling intonation, okay? Let me go over the attendance real quick. Give me one second. Let me check the attendance. Profe? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Profe teacher? Yes, <laughs> yes, student, student. Pero cuando, cuando el verbo ahí lleva el ING que es, es presente continuo, mm -hmm. así se le llama, se le uh -huh. agrega el ING al verbo. Correcto. Pero en, el, en la otra pregunta que dice que utiliza el DOI, eh, ¿cómo se le llama a ese? Uh, what are you doing? Ajá. Ese es un, siempre es en presente continuo. ¿Qué estás haciendo? Solo que ahí bueno, estamos usando sí. un WH word, una palabra WH. What? What are you Ajá, doing? al principio. Uh -huh. Es la diferencia y que lo hace descendente. Correcto. Pero siempre es presente continuo. Sí, siempre es presente continuo. ¿Qué estás haciendo? What are you doing? 
Okay. Bueno. Very well, very well. Let's go with the attendance. Do we have Bessie Elizabeth Mendoza de Soriano? Delmi Yesenia Casco de Cienfuegos. Eric Ronaldo Rosales Pérez. Present. Glenda Lisset Ortiz de la O. Sí, chévere, ahí está levantando la mano. Who, Delmi? Delmi. No, Glenda Ortiz. Ortiz. ¿Quién estaba levantando la mano? Glenda Ortiz, ella siempre la levanta, dicha. Glenda, Glenda, Glenda Ortiz de la O. Glenda Ortiz. Gracias, chicos, son geniales. Thank you. A ver, Jenny Arely Rodríguez Alfaro. José Miguel Soriano Rivera. Juan Antonio González Vides. Absent. Juan Carlos López Ayala. Bueno, los demás es porque ya los mencioné y están pues presentes, ¿verdad? So, nice job, nice job. Ok, entonces vamos a analizar un poquito las WH questions, siempre con present continuous, always with present continuous. Let me share my screen. Ahora con WH questions, así como la pregunta introductoria, what are you doing? ¿Qué estás haciendo? O what are you wearing? ¿Qué estás vistiendo? ¿Ok? Hagamos la introducción porque por cuestión de tiempo esto lo vamos a reforzar mañana. Check it out. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn to ask and answer present continuous questions. Additionally, we will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation between a boy and his mother, which illustrates WH questions in context. Let's listen and practice. Hi, mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mmm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Now, let's try to make sense of present continuous WH questions. We will typically use present continuous WH questions whenever we want to get information from an action that is in progress. For example, what are you doing right now? To form WH questions, we need to follow this formula. WH word plus verb to be plus subject plus the verb plus ing plus some kind of complement. If we look at the images on the screen, you can see a few WH questions. Let's analyze the first one. What's Victoria doing? We have a WH word, what? Then we have the verb to be is after that we have the subject Victoria after that we have the uh, verb in its ing form and then we have a question mark then of course you can see the question being answered she's sleeping now 
Now, we're going to listen to the rest of the questions and answers. Let's listen and repeat. Los Angeles, 4 a.m. What's Victoria doing? Repeat, guys. Los Angeles, 4 a.m. Los Angeles, 4 a.m. What's Victoria doing? Es la misma pregunta. What are you doing? Pero ahora es en tercera persona. What's Victoria doing? Repeat. What's Victoria doing? ¿Qué está haciendo Victoria? She's sleeping right now. She's sleeping right now. She's sleeping right now. She's sleeping right now. Ella está durmiendo en este momento. Next. Mexico City, 6 a.m. Mexico City, 6 a.m. Se dice AM. A de la A. AM. Por ahí oigo que me dicen AM. No, it's AM. AM. Ok, Marcos. Marcos is there. So, what's Marcos doing? What's Marcos doing? Ah, ah, it's 6 AM. Son las 6 de la mañana. So, aquí vamos a usar el, el, el conjunction word so, que es para hablar de resultado. Como son las seis de la mañana, entonces él se está levantando. Así es el contexto. Repeat, it's 6 a.m., so he's getting up. Repeat, it's 6 a.m., so he's getting up. So he's getting up. It's 6 a.m., so he's getting up. He's getting up. Son las seis de la mañana, por lo, cual, por lo cual él se está levantando. Okay, next. What's Marcos doing? It's 6 a.m., so he's getting What? up. New York City, 7 a.m. Okay, New York City, 7 a.m. New York City, 7 a.m. What are Sue and Tom doing? Esa es en plural. What are, ya no es what is. What are. What are. What are Sam and Tom what doing? Are. What are Sam and Tom doing? What are Tom doing? Como es plural, vamos a decir they are. They are, en este caso, having breakfast. They are they having are breakfast. Having they breakfast. are having the breakfast. Ellos están tomando su desayuno. That's right, that's yeah. right. Okay, next, next, next. We have uh, Brasilia. Check it out. They're having breakfast. Brasilia. 9 a.m. Recording in progress. What's Celia doing? She's going to Buenas work. Noches. ¿Quién me habló? ¿Alguien habló, chicos? Hello, hello. Oh, que alguien saludó. Escuché así, pero no. Chocó otra, otra, miren ahí quizás. Ok, eh, con esto nos vamos a quedar hasta aquí, chicos. Nice job, los felicito. Uh, practiquen esta parte el día de mañana. Le vamos a dar con todo al present continuous, combinándolo con la hora. Ok. Very good. Quedamos hasta aquí. Good night, good job. See you tomorrow, 8 p.m. Good night. Sweet night, dreams, sister. everybody. Take it easy. Good night, good night. Good, good night, night, everybody. Good Goodbye good now. Night. Better. Goodbye.